Hey doll family, spring flower hair with us again today, Keita and I, here for day number 12. Day number 12 of this 30 day challenge of making a video every day with the same baby. And my baby of choice is, of course, as she old now, my Keita Landon. My little Keto Landon, who is sweet thing. He was made by Julia Crystal of All For Reborn. He is my first silicone baby in my collection. And I love him so much. He is partial. And he is fabulous. So, oh, and this challenge was put together by Teresa of Baby Steps Reborn Treasures. I will leave the link to her channel in my description box. So go check her out and jump on this channel if you want to. So hi guys, I've gotten all that out the way. This little boy woke up with a little bit of colic and a little bit of hiccup. So I'm just gonna give him some water with some little gripe water in it. Do you guys remember gripe water? I used to just give that to my children because <laughs> it will calm them down and put them to sleep. <laughs> So I'm gonna give little kiddo some white water, right, man? So we can get rid of this hiccups, right? Mm -hmm. Get rid of these hiccups. Let's get that in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Can we get that muggy muck 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 in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I mean, can we get that nipple in your mouth? Ah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, guys, so I'm here today. I'm feeding kiddo. He's having his little white water, and I thought I would um. <clears throat> I was watching Aunt Shiana, um, Auntie Shiana's channel, because she's doing the challenge as well. I believe she's on day number six, so she's doing good, my babies. And, um, and she had a question. She was like, how do you guys keep up with all the videos? You know, with looking at everybody else's videos, how do you keep up? You know, and that's a really good and valid question, because it's not easy to keep up with everybody's video. It really isn't. So what I do is, um, gosh, I have a hard time getting back to my own to look at comments and read the comments and stuff, you know, but I do. What I do is a lot of times, um, I, like I said, I have my YouTube connected up to my TV, right? Through my Xbox. So when I get an opportunity and a chance, I just, I'm literally like laying off watching YouTube videos and YouTube channel. The only thing about doing it that way is that, um, if I don't have a device next to me, then I can't make a comment. I can like it from my TV, but I can't make the comment from my TV. I have to get one of my devices, either my iPad or my iPhone, to um, to make a comment if I wanted to comment below a video. But I always try to like every video. But, um, yeah, I just try to watch as many as I can when I can. Like, I don't really stress out too much about it because this is real life and all of us are just, you know, this is our little hobby and it's just really a fun place. It's lovely to interact. Don't get me wrong. I love interaction and stuff. But, um, yeah, I just watch what I can when I can. So even with this 30-day challenge, I, it's, it's going to be impossible for me to watch everybody's every single video that's on the challenge, you know. I'm following quite a few better people that's actually taking part in the challenge, but it's going to be very impossible for me to literally um, comment underneath every single one of you guys' videos, but I do try to watch them, and I do like. So, yes, guys. So, um, yeah, I just, it's not easy. So, that's what I do. I just do my best, and when I have a moment or an opportunity where I find where I can comment, because sometimes I will watch a video, and, um, <clears throat> I know I want to make a comment, so I, I kind of like put it in my mind that yeah, I'm going to comment on this. Or sometimes I'll get right up or get my my um, my um iPhone or something and like, oh, let me make a comment because I want to comment on the video at that time. But sometimes I'm just laying off relaxing and I don't feel like making any comments and stuff. I would just put in my mind like when I get back in my um, on my device because everything would be in my history. And I'm like, yeah, I want to make a comment on that video, so I'll go back and comment. So stuff like that. And it's the same way and it's the same thing I do with my... um with my um on my own channel when people leave comments um i don't always get to comment all the time but i always read them i read all the comments i make sure that i do that and i read all of them and i like them and i heart them i don't like or heart anything until i got a chance to read it so if i haven't liked or hearted your comment that means i haven't even read it you know so um yeah 
So I try to make that a point to definitely take time out to go back and like and heart and read and read each comment. And sometimes if I have time, I will go ahead and even answer, you know, come reply back, depending on what's going on. And if I feel like I want to reply back to, to the comments. But again, I love reading them and thank you so much for the interaction. Sometimes what happens is when I read comments, um, some, if I remember, I will come in another video and answer the comment in the video. Like if somebody has a question and I'm not able to answer right away. Sometimes I remember, like for instance, someone had asked me, um, in one of my videos, how much the keto weigh. And you know what? I really don't know how much it is. But if I had to guess, I'm going to weigh them. But if I had to guess it's weight, it feels like it weighs about eight to nine pounds. That's what it feels like. It feels like it weighs about eight to nine pounds. So I really have to get put them on a scale and weigh them. I feel like taking them to the baby clinic and saying, can you weigh this baby? <laughs> they probably think I'm so crazy, right? <laughs> but I think it feels about that. It's his hair. His hair's heavy. His hair's heavy. So, and the rest of his body is, you know, he's got a cloth body and he's got a quarter limb. So it's not as heavy as they could get. I know silicone babies could get very heavy full body silicones, but this little guy, he feels like he weighs about, he feels like he weighs about eight pounds if I had to guess. Maybe nine. That's what it feels like. But I'm going to weigh him and find out for sure, dude. I'm going to, I'm going to definitely weigh him and find out for sure. Right, man? But you guys, you know what's crazy? This boy, he's getting cuter and cuter to me every day. He just gets cuter and cuter to me every single day. Don't you, man? Say yes, mommy. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, that's what I do when it comes to um everyone's videos. I And there's so many people are also, um, so many people I've, I follow are also on Instagram. So, sometimes if I can't comment on YouTube, I will say something to them on Instagram if I got a chance, you know, because... That's just how it is. I'm like, oh, I watched the video. I just watched it. It was so nice. You know, sometimes I comment there, you know, when the Instagram page says between the two, you know, that I try to comment or watch. And, um, yeah. But I think it's some, I mean, we all try to support each other. You know, we all try to support each other in this community. But it's, it's, it's going to definitely be impossible to comment underneath or even watch every single video. It's going to be impossible to do that because it's a lot. I'm sure many of us are following so much people. I'm subscribed to so much different people, so many people I'm subscribed to, and I enjoy watching their videos. Right, man? Right, man? Yeah, your brother looks so cute in this outfit. The hell are your bottles? You think y'all big boy, in it? Making you feel better? <laughs> so, yes, I want to just touch on that, and also I want to touch on um, real play. Um, with real play, just want to talk about it, because, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I just wanted to touch on real play because I was watching um, somebody's video and he was talking a bit about real play. Um, oh, Pixie Mommy. I was watching Pixie Mommy Reborn's video and she was talking about real play, you know, and it made me think, I know when I real play, like when I'm sitting here doing the bottle feeding and pretending that he has hiccups and all that, that is for the camera. I love to have fun and do that for the camera, but I don't do this when i am just me and my dolls playing i don't do real play per se um i hold them a lot though i hold them i don't know people real play comes in so many different ways like even just changing your baby so i guess the most real play i do off the camera is changing my baby up <laughs> you want to call that real play you know i definitely hold them and cuddle them and have them with me while i watch tv sometimes and Stuff like that, but I don't do any bottle feeding or pr play pretend or nothing like that. That's for the camera. That's for entertaining you guys and entertaining myself while I'm making, you know, YouTube videos. So that's as far as I go with role playing. If I go any farther, like pretending I'm taking my baby somewhere, that's all for the camera. Pretending like my baby's, you know, is hungry. And I like all of that part. It's, I love doing that. It's fun, but I don't do that off camera at all. That's definitely for the YouTube channel. Off camera, the most they get is a lot of cuddles like this. Yes. And sometimes I, like I said, I would change the clothes and stuff like that. And of course I was, you know, when you got your little baby with me, you're like, oh, my little schnocks, you know, like that. But feeding and all of that type of stuff, no. Mm -mm. I don't do that part. Or pretending like I'm taking them somewhere. I don't do all of that off a camera. This is strictly for the camera. <laughs> and what else I was thinking about today? Oh, Halloween. Um, you probably wouldn't see any of my babies taking part in any Halloween costumes and stuff because, the, you know, that's just something I don't do. 
um, not against anybody that does it. I think it would be able to look cute in their little Halloween costumes and stuff. A lot of them super cute. But I just never grew up with Halloween. Never had it. Um, when I did become an adult, I've been, been to a few parties. I like dressing up and all that. So I've been to a few parties and stuff. But trick-or-treating and all that. Never did any of that stuff. All of that kind of stuff. Never did that. So, yeah. I'm not opposed to costumes, though. Like, when the only time costumes usually come out is around this time of year. But when my kids are growing up, I would still buy them costumes because they like to play. Children love to play dress up. They just love playing dress up. So, all the little superhero costumes and princess costumes. And my children had, like, um, you know, a little chest with dress up clothes and stuff in it so that they could play dress up. So, yep. So, around when Halloween time did come around, I would buy them stuff to do in that little. Um, dress up chest and so that they can have Halloween, you know, not Halloween, so they can have costumes and stuff like that. So, yeah, man. So, no, I don't do Halloween. I saw a tag going around and stuff. So, I don't do Halloween. Um, I do like playing dress up though. Um, what else? Scary movies depends. I like haunted movies. I like watching haunted movies, like a haunted house and stuff like that. I don't know, it just attracts me that type of stuff so it's like a mystery and a thriller and stuff like that you know so sometimes i like watching haunted movies i don't like gory i don't like gory movies cutting off heads and blood splattering and smashed heads and ugh, i don't like all of that no no um i used to love watching vampire movies one of my favorite movies to watch is the movie called um interview with a vampire and it's got tom cruise in it and um Brad Pitt. I probably like it because it's got two increase and Brad Pitt in it. <laughs> but yeah, that movie was pretty good. Like, but um, yeah, that's how that goes. I don't do any holidays at all. So you know, Halloween's no different for me. Just don't get into all of that. But like I said, I enjoy seeing um all the little babies or all the little doll babies dressed up in their little outfits and stuff like that. It's cute. It's real, real cute. I have, I do have costumes for my dogs. Like I have a little kitty cat costume i have um superhero and it's more like pjs so you know the same like when i'm doing role play or playing around with my dolls and they dress them as like oh kiki felt like dressing up like a cat today so i'll put her in the little cat pjs like with the ears and everything or they want to dress up like a unicorn you know just play dress up so that's fun but yeah, guys, this is my day number 12, and I just want to have a little chat while I'm feeding my little smoke smoke. And we'll be back again for day number 13 tomorrow. I can't believe it. We are moving. We're moving. We're getting into the teens real soon. Day number 12. And let's see. Um, Bohemian Dolove and I are doing a twinsy day on day 15. So when does day 15 fall? Today is Wednesday 12. Thursday, 13, Friday, 14, Saturday, 15. So day number 15 will be on Saturday. So her and I will be doing a twinsy, a twinsy day with our babies. And we are going to dress our babies up in denim and pink for breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. And um, I said I'll find something pink yet boyish <laughs> for a little kitty to put on. But when it comes down to doing stuff like brass cans are wearing this and stuff like that, you know, it doesn't really matter. His skin looks so cute. His skin look, I think his skin look really good in pink. And I've also decided that I am one of these days during this challenge, I am going to dress him and change him, look, make see what he looks like as a girl just to try it. Because why not? I might do it on day number 20. I might do day number 20 because I try to plan things out to do for these 30 days. And Keto's playing saying, Mama, don't you do that to me. But I am Keto. I am gonna I'm gonna put a girl outfit on you just want just to see what it looks like. And put some sticky earrings on you just to see what it looks like. You might look super cute. I don't know. But like I said to me, this little boy has such a boy face. It's got such a boyish face. So I don't know. But I'm gonna try it. They're just fun, you know. Just to find things to do. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys. That's it for me today. I love you, Dolly family. Give me the photo, baby, and tell you. I'm just a no good boy. You want to put your muggy in your mouth? You put your muggy in your mouth? Huh? No? Thank you. Yeah? <laughs> it's so cute, you guys. It's such a cutie patootie. Say bye to your Dolly family, man. Say I love you, Dolly family. And remember, 
if you do your way. Bye-bye. Let's do a thumbnail.